Today we're talking to St Albans City Manager Ian Allenson at a very blustery Clarence Park where the Saints return to winning ways for a 1-0 National League South victory over Dulwich Hatlet. That's revenge for a defeat we had away to them earlier in the season. I was up in the gantry Ian, it was bitterly cold up there in that wind. So for maybe other reasons I wasn't disappointed when that final whistle went but I didn't think the game was up to much either. I think it was. Uh, I, I don't think the conditions helped. I don't think the quality of the pitch helped today. I think it was uh, conducive to to not allowing any football to be played in terms of keeping the ball and there was lots of lots of bad bounces and, and the wind didn't help. And as I say, it was sweet. It wasn't even if, if it was going one way, it was swirly. So we didn't know whether one minute we had it or they had it. Um, and I, you can tell from the amount of opportunities that both teams had that. You know, it really wasn't a really good team or, or, or game to be involved in today. But I have to take full positives from the fact is that we won a game of football 1-0. We've played a lot better than that in probably the last three weeks and ended up drawing. So let's take the positives. Let's, let's you know, we kept a clean sheet, which is which is really good. Um, I thought the back four were excellent today. They've had to deal with a lot of balls coming in, balls played over the back of them, and they've dealt with it really well. I don't think Dean really had much to save apart from one in the first half. I think he's got fingertips to one that's gone and hit the post. Um, so, lots of positives from that side of it, but you know, I don't think the game was uh, was, a, was a classic in any way. It's funny you almost got what you asked for. We've drawn our last three league games two two. First time we've drawn three league games in succession by that score. You said uh, something along the lines of you wanted to win a few games ugly one nil. We got what you wanted. Well, exactly. I mean, we, you know, it's, it's and I think a lot of people will, will tell you that you know when you look at the Dulwich side in, in terms of the of the players, they've got a really good squad there and they're a good side and I think if you don't respect teams like Dulwich then they'll come here and they'll, 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 they'll pick the three points up and, 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 and cause you some problems so we had to respect that first and foremost. Obviously we're also under a little bit of pressure for the amount of goals that we've conceded but as I've said to the players beforehand, you know, if, if we want to push on again this season we've got to start winning some games so as I said there, full credit to the back four, I thought they were outstanding. Um, and, and then we worked re extremely hard. We had to work extremely hard just to, to, to nullify their strengths. Um, and then when we, we did create one or two chances, you know, we didn't really have the composure to go and finish the game off. And that was probably the one area where we maybe could have done something late on, especially when uh, they were virtually playing like a, a 4 2 4 in the end. Um, and we got in two or three times in the last sort of 20 minutes. But our end product and our, and our final decision today really wasn't to the level it should have been. But. As I say, I can't complain because we just picked up three points, which was the most important thing today. You mentioned there weren't many chances at either end. Dulwich could have had a few more if uh, Dippo and Yemi uh, had learnt the offside law. He didn't know it when he was here and it uh, doesn't seem to have learnt it a lot more down there. I think, you know, also give us a little bit of credit because I know we worked extremely hard during the week on, on the back four in terms of squeezing when we had to because we didn't do it last week at Welling and we got punished twice. So we've worked, especially on Thursday night, for about 45 minutes on on squeezing at certain times, so you know, let's, let's not blame the boy, let's just take a bit of credit for the back four and say that they did their job really well when they had to squeeze today, they played the offside really well and, uh, and obviously benefited us as we went into that sort of, the last sort of half an hour, um, as I say, it was quite good to still be 1-0 up because it was the first time we could feel a little bit confident in trying to get a second goal rather than having to chase the game. As we say, the match was won with a penalty, uh, Dulwich didn't seem to contest it. Uh, from where I was, I, as I say, I thought it was, but I weren't sure, you know, the referee sort of, you know, he gave it, so I, I still can't say whether it was or not. Um, they didn't seem to contest it, as you say. They obviously had a, a big shout in the 93rd minute there for a penalty, but I've just spoke to some of our lads and they, they feel the lad went down very, very easy. Um, there was no contact and uh, obviously it was just in an area and the referee's decided it's outside and we've defended the free kick coming in really well. We're looking at our fixtures coming up. This was the first of five games which really are winnable. <laughs> well, I suppose all games are. Um, but if you look at uh, where the sides are in the league that we're playing, so we've got a chance to get on a run and put pressure on those sides in the playoff places. Yeah, we have to. And as I've said all along, you know, the draws are, are, are not what we want. And if you look at this, the, probably the first 20 games this year, we, we, we won games, lost games and didn't draw many. And we, we ended up in a position that, that virtually kept us in and around the playoffs. Since we've been drawing games, even though we've we've not won games, we've been drawing too many. It's just forced us a little bit further down the, the pecking order because the three points are massive, and you know, this is what we've got to do. We've got to you know, again turn up here on on Tuesday night against Western. You know, we know Western have um, a little bit up and down still at the moment. They've probably got 
to win sort of seven or eight of their last ten games to stay up this year. So the pressure's going to be on from from winning games, but also we know they're going to be a quality side in terms of keeping the ball and passing the ball. And, and, and you see, two weeks ago they went and won at Torquay. So it's going to be a tough, tough game. Um, but we've just got to keep taking each game as it comes um, because. I've said it all along, it's on that day, we can beat anybody in this league, but there's too many games in the last sort of five or six weeks where we've drawn too many, so let's take Western first on Tuesday night, see where we are after that game, and then we can see where we are going into the, the, the Chippenham game next Saturday. All right, let's look at a few players individually. You thought last week uh, David Noble and Clovis Camdrew wouldn't play today, and sure enough they didn't, but Lewis Knight came in and Michael Clark went out. Yeah, it was just a decision we made in terms of their size, in terms of their height. Um, I just felt we needed Lewis's height in there today. Um, and again, I think he came in and did a good job. Um, as I say, it doesn't hurt some of the players just have a little bit of a rest. And you know, we'd have to look at it on Tuesday night whether you know whether we bring Michael back in. But you know, at the moment, I thought the two centre halves did really well today. Um, as a back four, we, we squeezed when we had to, and we dropped when we had to. Uh, and as I say, Dean really never had much to do, especially second half. He probably you know was just a spectator for most of the game. Uh, you mentioned also that the pitch is a bit bobbly. We haven't had a game here for a couple of weeks. Uh, I think you would have liked it a bit flatter than it was. It doesn't help either side when it's a bit bobbly. No, and I think there was a there was one in the first half when the ball's come across the face of the goal, and I don't know what it's. It's obviously a divot in there, and I think it's gone over Tom Bender's head. I think he's hit him on the on the, on the head, which has gone out for a corner. So no, it just uh, it wasn't very good today. We, I don't don't know the reason why. We need to obviously try and find out the reason why, but. It wasn't a good quality today, um, and that's a, that's a shame because the pitch has been very, very good for the three years I've been here, and that was probably the worst it's been ever since I've been here. Right, lovely. Um, that's pretty much it, I think, yeah? You struggled for worse. I am struggling for worse. It must have been a really poor game because you've really struggled. I, I can't wait to get out of here, to be honest. <laughs> Cheers, Dan. Cheers, then. We'll see you on Tuesday, friends. <laughs> so, Saints back at Clarence Park, then. Western Superman and Visitors National League South kickoff is at 7.45.